Off its season in Charlotte tonight, facing 21st ranked North Carolina. The game just ended moments ago. The Gamecocks falling 31 17. News 2's Dan Fanning standing by live in Charlotte. You see him right now. He joins us live from Bank of America Stadium. Dan, the easy question is what happened to the Gamecocks? Well, I think a lot of this kind of the same problems that uh, maligned South Carolina last year. The O-line, some of the uh, lack of experience in the defensive secondary. South Carolina, though, got out to an early 14-10 lead in the second quarter. But then in the third and fourth quarter, the front four, maybe the front three of North Carolina kind of reigned supreme here in the Queen City. North Carolina sacked South Carolina nine times tonight. With those sack yardage, South Carolina had negative rushing yards on the night. Now, quick note, UNC only had 17 QB sacks last year. So, so far in one game, they've already more than doubled that outbreak. Also, I know a lot of injuries happen in sports, especially football, so not blaming any injuries, but Nick Emanwari, the starting safety, got injured, I think, maybe on the first play from defense. Also, Juice Wells left the game tonight. Coach Shane Beamer said that he'll have an update tomorrow in the SEC teleconference. So, yes, again, a lot of the problems, the O-line, a little bit of the defensive secondary, led South Carolina to drop tonight's opener 31-17. Dan, what was the reaction of the players kind of during the latter part of that game? The frustration from Spencer Rattler, as you said, uh, to carry on joiner, 23 yards rushing on 12 carries. The sacks negate that. A frustrating evening for the players. Agreed? Yeah, I would say so. I was kind of more so uh, focused on Coach Shane Beamer. Obviously, he was a little beside himself on the, uh, the sideline, especially late in the fourth quarter. But again, we'll have more from Shane Beamer and the players tomorrow at 6 and the OT for now. Reporting live from Bank of America Stadium, Dan Fanning. Mark, back to you in Charleston. All right, Dan, thanks so much. Let's show you now how everything transpired in Charlotte tonight. Let's get to those highlights. A familiar face, Darius Rucker, singing your national anthem. There's Darius. UNC broke on top. Amari and Hampton takes it in from one yard out to make it seven zip Tar Heels. Gamecocks with it now. Spencer Rattler looking for an open man. Xavier Leggett is the open man. Watch this nice grab. He hauls it in. Gain of 37. Nice catch. Let's move the sticks. 4D product to carry on. Joiner will cap the drive with this four yard run to pay dirt. We are tied at seven after that sequence. Dax Young daughter in the crowd. There she is looking on. Moving ahead, USC down 10-7. Rattler to Juju McDowell in the flat. McDowell gets all the way down to the one-yard line before he's knocked down. 22-yard gain on the play. Next play, he will plunge in, does McDowell from the one. 14-10, Gamecocks on top. Now, late second quarter, Drake May will connect with Kobe Paysauer coming up. There's that hookup. 34 yards for the score. That gives UNC a 17-14 lead at the break. We now move to second half action. 24-14 heels. Mays virtually unstoppable. Look at this. Fires up a prayer into the end zone. John Copenhaver is there to haul it in. 18 yards on the play. North Carolina takes a 31-14 lead. Spencer Rattler, as Dan and I mentioned moments ago, running for his life throughout this game. He was sacked nine times. The Gamecocks fall in Charlotte. Your final 31-17.